Here it goes. You guys see it? Yeah. You guys see the reaction going? Yeah. It's about to go up. Okay. You are getting ready to see an explosion. Back with another video, guys. Today, today we're going to be uh, doing a, a science experiment on how we can fill up a balloon without any source of air, guys. So, and then we're probably going to see if we can actually get it to fly. So, in order for us to start this actual experiment, we are going to first need some aluminum foil, some drain cleaner. and some balloons and then I have three different size bottles here little coke bottle also and an old wine bottle here so we're gonna get the experiment started guys before we start doing this here I just want to say uh, parents adults please make sure that your kids do not do this um, on their own um, if you choose to do it please make sure that you have a parent um, you know, help you with the experiment because this is this is kind of dangerous here, guys, because we're using drain cleaner, uh, which has chemicals in it. So anything that's chemically related, uh, you definitely do not want to have your kids doing it by themselves. So kids, do not do this experiment without the help of a parent. Okay, so at first we're going to get it started. We're going to fill up the Coke bottle here with some drain cleaner. Okay, like so. Let's see what, put a little more in there. There we go. Then we're gonna take some aluminum foil. Tear us, a good, tear us off a good piece of aluminum foil. And we're gonna take aluminum foil, guys, and make little balls with it. So you probably want to make probably maybe five, six good size, size uh, balls of aluminum foil. So tear off some pretty good pieces there. All right. So we're gonna make a couple more balls of aluminum here. And then we're going to take a balloon, put it around the top of the bottle and we're gonna see what happens. See if we get some type of chemical chemical reaction that was going to actually um, cause the balloon to inflate itself. So basically, the, it's going to be a chemical reaction between the aluminum and uh, the Drano cleaner. So we're going to go ahead and grab us a balloon here. What color should we get? Red. Get red. Okay, we'll start with red. All right. So we have our little Coke bottle here. We're gonna go ahead and drop a couple pieces of, a couple balls of the aluminum foil in. Just make sure we get it small enough so it fits. Okay, like so. Go ahead and place them in there. It looks like bigger balls. Yes, they are a little bigger. Go ahead and give it a good little mix there. And then we're gonna take the balloon and place it right over the top of the bottle. If I can get it over there, let's see if I can get it on top. There we go. Give it a good little stretch at the top. And we're gonna wait. So you have to wait guys, and there's, you should start to see some um, a chemical reaction happen between the Drano cleaner itself and the aluminum balls we place in there. Um, you'll, probably start, you'll probably start to see uh, some foaming at the bottom here, and then some, the bottle will start to, start to get a little cloudy. It's doing, that may, huh? it's doing it. Not yet. Oh, it is doing it. It's doing it already. Guys, if you see that, look at it. So the gas, there's a chemical reaction going on, and the gas is going to slowly rise to the top of the bottle, causing the, the balloon to inflate. So there's already some type of chemical reaction going on here. It's getting bigger. Yeah, it's going to slowly get bigger and bigger. We'll see here. Hopefully, hopefully it gets bigger. We're going to go ahead and we'll do that one. Let's see, let's give it a good little, good little mix here. Put it down there, so we'll put that into the side and see if we can't get some type of reaction going there. Then we're going to, what's our wine bottle here? Okay, we'll pour some drain on here. Alright, yeah, I think that's enough. Yeah, we're trying to, we got enough time here, we're going to see if we can really uh, 
Still start to see some reaction here. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see this yet, but there's already starting to be some cloud, cloud, cloudiness going on here in the Coke bottle, which means gas is starting to form. You have some, some um, precipitation here starting to form against the, the wall of the Coca Cola bottle here. So, gas is starting to start to be a chemical reaction, and we should slowly start to see this balloon here rise. It looks like a lemon. A lemon? Yeah. No, that's not a lemon, that's not even yellow. So, oh, here we go. It's doing it. I'm not sure if you guys see that, but look. Oh, it's going to go up. Here it goes. You guys see it? Yeah. You guys see the reaction going? Yeah. It's about to go up. Okay, the balloon is starting to pop around a little bit. Oh, there it goes. I see it. There it goes. You see it? It popped yeah. up. Huh? It went up. You guys see that? Yeah. You see all the cloudiness going on here? Yeah. You see that? Yeah. Okay. Now, if you look at it real close, if you look at it real close, guys, I'm not see if you see the bubbles in the bottle or not, but that there's a, a chemical reaction going on between the Drano and the aluminum foil there. Shaking. Yeah. See all those bubbles? That means there is hydrogen gas being formed. Yeah. You see that? Yeah. No all right, guys, you see that balloon blowing up? Yeah. The balloon is starting to blow up. <gasps> it's getting bigger. It's getting bigger, isn't it? It's bigger. It's yep. You hear it? Yeah. You hear that sizzling? Yeah. Yeah, that's, a, that's what's called a chemical reaction. So, the guys, we have a chemical reaction going on here. And the balloon is starting to slowly inflate and get larger and larger. So, basically, all you guys have to do is get you some aluminum foil, Drano cleaner, balloons, and a bottle to do the experiment. That's pretty much it. And it's just a chemical reaction. Um, this balloon is going to get bigger and bigger as the reaction, you know, um, gets faster and faster. More hydrogen gas is going to be uh, um, released and formed and go up to the top of the balloon, up to the end of the balloon. The balloon's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Okay, hope, hopefully you guys can see the chemical reaction that's going on here in the bottle. Uh, you see the bubbles, the bubbles in the bottle being formed there. So you have that chemical reaction going on. I'm not sure if you can hear it, but if you listen real closely, you can hear some some like hissing or, or um, yeah, basically some some hissing noise that that you'll be hearing. So if you hear that hissing noise, it sounds like tss. that's just the gas um, being released from the chemical reaction and. Uh, it's slowly rising to the top of the bottle. You'll see all that precip precipitation against the wall of the bottle. And that is the actual gas being formed inside the bottle and it's rising to the top of the bottle up there to the top of the balloon. So we're gonna go ahead and continue to let the balloons fill up uh, with the hydrogen gas. And uh, we'll be back shortly. You guys see the balloons? How, how big they gotten? Yeah. yeah. Okay, guys, so we're back here after a couple minutes. Uh, if you see the red balloon, you probably can't see it too much because it's out of the picture. But if you look at it here, look how big the balloon has actually gotten. We also started a, another Coke bottle here that, with a uh, blue balloon on top of it. And it is actually uh, starting to 
uh, gas is starting to form in the uh, balloon itself and it's getting bigger. But the red one that we started with, it is gotten a whole lot bigger, guys. It's filling up with gas. And uh, so this experiment was actually pretty cool, wasn't it? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. It was fun? Yeah. So we're going to continue let's see how big it gets. Uh, the wine bottle that we tried out, uh, it's going to take a little longer for it to do uh, with the green balloon on it. So we just put that one to the side. Uh, the smaller bottles tend to work a little quicker here. So both of them are, pretty, are filling up pretty quick with gas. Uh, so this experiment was actually uh, cool, wasn't it? Yeah! All right, all right. Um, so let's see. Well, it's still going on. I still hear the chemical reaction going on, so I don't want to stop it here, guys. So we're going to let them get bigger and bigger and bigger. What do you guys think? Good. Yeah? All right. Look how big that red one's got. You see it? Yeah. Wow. All right, so you see that we have a Coke bottle here that's filling up. Uh, the balloon's filling up with hydrogen gas here. Chemical reaction still going on. I'm going to show you something cool here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to detach the balloon from the bottle, tie it off, and I'm going to put some fire to the balloon, and you're going to see what happens. Here we go. All right. Tie it off. All right, you see that Coke bottle smoking? That's gas. Going to put the place the balloon right here, and I'm going to stand. Well, the balloon wants to. Here we go. Going to place that balloon right there. Guys, do not try this at home. You are getting ready to see an explosion. Woo! All right. Well, guys, that's going to be the end of the video here. Um, was well, actually going to see if we could take it off and, and uh, let it fly, but still a lot of uh, gas going on, filling the balloon, balloon up, and uh, so we're just going to let it continue to get larger and larger, but if you guys enjoyed the video here, guys, a simple way of uh, being able to fill up a balloon without any source of air or helium, it's a DIY experiment, you can definitely do it on your own, guys, it was fun for us to do, so definitely give it a try. Uh, guys, if you like the video, as always, please make sure to smash that thumbs up button, hit that like button for us, please, guys. Um, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you have not already, already subscribed. Turn your post notifications on. Comment below. And, um, you know, as always, share with others. Until next time, guys, what do we do? Imagine, believe, and, and achieve. achieve, guys. And you will succeed in everything you do. We love you. Make sure to fill your day with laughter and goodbye.